You conned your way through rehab. You lied. You stole. And look what you've done to our family. I know, but why don't you just give me a break? I just need you to be my father for one goddamn day. Just... Just help me. I mean, can't you tell when I... when I'm telling the truth? No. Trust was the first thing you ruined. Okay, I'm gonna go. There's this guy that I owe a large sum of money to. I know that's like a big surprise, but I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna try to work it out. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to do something right for once. I mean it. So I just want you to wish me luck. I mean, whether you believe me or not. Julian, can you stay clean for one week? For one damn week? I'll do everything I can to help you. But I need you to help me, too. I could try. Who the hell is going to pay to see you when everybody else has gone over to sound? Who? I'll tell you who. The Japanese for one thing, and the Ruskies for another, and anyone else who doesn't happen to speak English. Oh, you've forgotten about the other nine-tenths of the globe. All right, I guess I'll have to show you. Who's the most famous ballet dancer in the world? Pardon? The most famous ballet dancer in the world! Nijinsky. Fine. So, let's say that he was doing Swan Lake today, and we went to see it. And he came down to the footlights. And the orchestra stopped. And he said, Hi, folks, I'm Vaslo Nijinsky. No, he'd have a Russian accent. Hi, foxes, call me Vaslo Nijinsky, skiddy, skididi. Ah, just call me Vas. It doesn't matter, it's okay by me. Everything is wonderful in California. Okay, today I'm going to jump up and down for you like nothing what you've ever seen before, but with the vodka means in the chicken Kiev. Hope for you for to like me by. You know what would happen when he danced? be awful because the magic is gone just as it would be with the tramp tell me mate. excuse me if you're going to be back here you have to have a pass a pass, a pass. i'm going to pass some information on to you you bozos outside got the trucks blocking my car in my rolls royce what are you talking about where did you park what do you think? You listen to me? I just said I parked up between your trucks. That's why I can't move. Don't you give me attitude. I'm a mother. No, I mean, I'm a... I'm a doctor. I'm a surgeon. I come down here as a favor to Mr. King. You see, his hands are insured for a million dollars. Now, the insurance company not going to let him walk out on that stage until they had him checked out by me. Meanwhile, I got a medical emergency downtown, but I can't get my damn car out. Sir, just calm down. Calm down, I am calm. You want me to get loud? I will get loud. I will get loud no, no, if you no, no, want no. me to get loud. Uh, you go get that manager right now and get his butt down here, and I might calm down. Fine. I'll take you to him. I'm not going anywhere. You bring him to me. I'm a doctor. I'll be right back. <laughs> We've been waiting for a long time to do a follow-up episode on you, and that time is definitely come. <laughs> anyway, I feel it's apparent to anyone who's hip to what's going on that this prison boy has thrown the Constitution straight out the fucking window. You and Mallory may be killers, but nuts? Insane? Today they won't clean your mind because they feel your actions are dangerous. Tomorrow they won't clean my mind. I don't be no fucking syndication because they feel what I say is dangerous. Where does it all end? Now, I have interviews with the prison board and with the psychiatrist, Emil Reingold, and with that warden, Dwight McCluskey, and I'll tell you, Mickey, they look bad. <laughs> now, you give an exclusive to Wayne Gale. We are blocking a media event here. Some promos on a Super Bowl, you know, the network will cream for it. Oh, my God! What a great idea, Julie. We are talking about nothing less than television history. The 
first sit down in depth interview with the most charismatic serial killer ever. One day before he's being shipped away to a middle hospital for the rest of his life. This is Wallace and Noriega. This is Elton John confessing his bisexuality to Rolling Stone. This is the Paisley's brothers at Altamonde. This is the fucking Nixon Frost interviews. My dad was a hard sort of guy to talk to. You know, he was good. You know, but as a kid, I couldn't seem to get close. He was good with engines, you know, anything under the hood, and he was just, he was so quiet. He was just, he was just too quiet. I don't want to get close, man. You know, I, I mean, maybe I wasn't the kind of kid he would have wanted, you know, reading and off on my own. And locked in. That pain in the ass. Kid. Stuff. I want to get closer. And I, I... So you told him about her? I traded her in. I traded her in for a pat on the head. No. No. I got beat instead, and so did she. He just hit her from one side of the room to the other, and we went... You know, but by then, I think my pa's rage had, had, had cooled down. I don't think he wanted us to go, because I remember him waving. I remember him waving to us as the bus went away. <laughs> away. <laughs> oh, my mom couldn't get a job. It was just, you know. She started bringing men home. with these cracks in the ceiling. Sir, will you please go back out, wait with the others? Grace, do me a favor. Let's just take him. He's ready. You ready, right? You ready? Okay, come on. You know the setup? Got any huh? questions? He's got no questions. Look at him. Let's go. Come on. Let's read. Where is he? Where's Raphael? Where is he? Where is he? Um. Oh. Uh. Beat up on me all night. You want me to give up my partner? You can go spit. Quit acting like the good guy jerk off. You got your partner killed. He was in over his head. You knew it. You may as well have pulled the trigger. You killed him. No, I, I didn't. I didn't kill him. He wanted in. Why? <laughs> I didn't want him to come in, and he insisted. I said, you got to stay at home, but he doesn't listen to me. He's such a stupid son of a bitch. Uh, I killed him, didn't I? Oh, my God, this is my mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry. Hey, good luck. You're going to the hospital. Where's Ma? Ma! Where is she? Why don't you get out? Get out of the house. Did you love me? Ever? Go. I said go, go. Dad, did you love me or not? Daddy, I gotta know. Come on, lie to me and tell me you did. Let me feel like the piece of shit I am. Did you love me or not? Answer me! Father always... Not a father, you!
Of course I did. I told you I love you the last time I saw you. Hello? Hello, oh, this better be good, Charles. Um, I came to invite you to the play. Well, thank you for that, but I am just a little tied up right now. What are you doing? Venting. Just venting a little bit. Is that your new word of the day? <laughs> sure shit is. Ah! Word of the day. Venting. Explanation, that's kind of how I deal with my little life's frustrations. I vent, as in to vent, original derivation from Latin exventari. Jesus! Everybody needs to vent a little now and again, don't you figure? Some of us are privileged enough to vent to you in the boys' room stall, and the rest of us just have to settle for less conventional methods, like, I don't know, a bottle of booze and a hand. Ah! God, I'm sorry. I, I'm not putting you on edge with my behavior, am I? That's all right. Um... Maybe you could put the gun down. Park it, Chuck. In case you're not aware of this, I'm entirely displeased with you right now. I was racking my brain to figure out why, and I think it's because you've taken everything from me. Why did you do that? Do you have anything enlightening to say to me right now? Because if you do, I'd appreciate it if you'd spit it out. I don't know. Maybe there's some of that post-pubescent psycho babble. Maybe the pearl wisdom. I don't know what to say to you. I, mean, I don't know how to help you. I, I really want to. Come on, doctor, what do you got for me? But I don't know what I don't know what you want from me. I, I don't need you to say anything to me, and I don't need you to save me. All right, then what am I supposed to do in this situation? I mean, I'm just a kid. I'm just a stupid kid. Stop the fucking presses. Run that by me again. You're a what? I'm just a kid. I get it. It's tough. I was a kid once, too. Oh, fuck. No! What are you doing? <laughs> so, um... What's new? I've been thinking. Yeah. Somebody should write a book. Somebody should write a fucking book, that's for sure. About what? About Zodiac. That's not new. I've been thinking that if you put all the information together, maybe you could jog something loose. And then I was thinking that nobody knows the case better than you. Yeah, that's and true. You know all the players, and you, you have all the files. Lost them. You lost them? Or, or I tossed them. I don't know. I moved onto a boat. You know that we work in the daily business, right? As in today. What do you think we were doing back then? Do you know that more people die in the East Bay commute every three months than that idiot ever killed? He offed a few citizens. He wrote a few letters and he faded into footnote. Not that I haven't been sitting here idly waiting for you to drop by and reinvigorate my sense of purpose. It's four years ago, let it fucking go. You're wrong. It was important. Then what did you ever do about it? If it was so fucking important, what did you ever do? You hovered over my desk, you stole from wastebaskets. Am I being unkind? Oh, that's right, I forgot. You went to the library. I'm sorry I bothered you. Oh, Mr. Stark, uh, you have been described by some as a Da Vinci for our time. What do you have to say about that? Uh, da Vinci, uh, ridiculous, I don't paint. Oh, and what do you have to say about the fact that Stark Weapons is responsible for millions of deaths since World War II? Oh boy, let me guess. Uh... Berkeley, Ms. Miss Summer, uh, and it's Brown. Okay. Well, uh, listen, Ms. Brown, it's an imperfect world, but it's the only one we've got. 
I assure you the day weapons are no longer needed to keep the peace, I'll happily transist to manufacturing bricks and beams for baby hospitals, making hemp pants and the like. But until that time, can I get you a drink? Uh, you rehearse that much? Yeah, every night in front of the mirror before bed. Why, is it stale? Well, I can picture that. I could show you firsthand. Sorry, I don't laugh at your jokes. I haven't been paid to like all the DOD fat cats in this place, Mr. Sorry, Stark. Sorry, stick around. You'll be on payroll soon enough. Call me Tony. I'm sorry, Tony. I was looking for a more serious answer. Okay, you're serious. My old man had a philosophy. Peace by definition means having a bigger stick than the other guy, so I feed the good dog. We arm the good guys because you can be sure as shit someone's arming the bad guys. Nice justification coming from the guy selling the sticks. I mean, my father. My father, who was commended by FDR for working on the Manhattan Project, who helped defeat the Nazis. Well, others call it war profiteering. This is a rhetorical question, no need for a response. Tell me, do you plan to run any pictures of all the millions that we've saved by advancing medical technology or kept from starvation with our telecrops? Or are you going to ignore all those advances that were spawned from military funding? Wow. <laughs> Wow, you really have all of this down. You ever lose an hour of sleep your whole life? I gotta tell you, is that thing wrong? You're never gonna get me in the sack with that attitude. Crudite? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't! Uh, Alfred, do you have any booty sweat? Oh. Uh, yeah, get him chugging on some of the Alpha's ass water. That'll bring him around as a cure all. Man, what you coming out in movies for anyway? Do you need another revenue stream? For your information, my revenue stream currently generates $2 million a year in charitable contributions for my community. Ah, damn. And why am I in this movie? Maybe I just knew I had to represent. Because they had one good party here for a black man, they gave it to Crocodile Dundee. Pumpy breaks, kid. That man's a national treasure. I just wanted to throw another shrimp on you, Bobby. That shit ain't funny. Hey, fellas, it's hot. We're tired. It stinks. I'm fucking with you, Kangaroo Jack. I'm sorry a dingo ate your baby. You know that's a true story? Lady lost the kid. You about to cross some fucking lines. Guys, relax. You stop. know what? Fuck that, man. I'm sick of this koala-hugging nigga telling me some... For 400 years, that word has kept us down. To go a whole lot of time just to get up that hill. Now we up in the big leagues. Kid, not turn it back. Long as we live, it's you and me, baby. <laughs> That's the theme song for the Jeffersons. You really need help. And just because the theme song don't make it not true. I thought I was helping someone. There's a guy and he's got a gift. He's lost his way. I'm gonna. Inevitably backfired. It's a backlash to the. And the very person I was trying to be of some redeeming service to it turns out me. I'm the enemy. <laughs> yeah. A stranger. And I don't know who to fault. I can't see any. Outcome to support. I believe in anything worthwhile. Done trying. I resign. I resign from everything. It's uh, it's official. And stop that earthquake. <laughs> you can't fix LA. <laughs> you just you're never gonna cure Nathaniel. Just be his friend and show up. Must 
register on an emotional level. First, distract target. Then block his blind jab. Counter with cross to left cheek. Discombobulate. Dazed, will attempt wild haymaker. Employ elbow block and body shot. Block feral left. Weaken right jaw. Now fracture. Break cracked ribs. Traumatize solar plexus. Dislocate jaw entirely. Heel kick to diaphragm. In summary, ears ringing, jaw fractured, three ribs cracked, four broken, diaphragm hemorrhaging. Physical recovery, six weeks. Full psychological recovery, six months. Capacity to spit it back of head, neutralized. I think we're done is the point that he's making. I, I, don't, I don't think there's any reason... The point is, uh, you're welcome, For I what? guess. Because I'm your nuclear deterrent. It's working. We're safe. America is secure. You want my property? You can't have it. But I did you a big favor. I have successfully privatized world peace. What more do you want? For now! Clowns. you, Mr. Stark. F*** you, buddy. We're adjourned. We're adjourned for the day. Okay. You've been a delight. Stay away from me. Jeez Louise, are you okay? Am I okay? Do I look okay? Huh? I have a broken arm. I have three cracked ribs. I have seven stitches in my fucking armpit. Does that answer your question? No. Not okay. Peter, I'm terribly sorry. Are you? Look, Sonny's all banged up. I'm a wreck. You don't have a scratch, do you? Yeah, the doctor said I was in such a deep sleep that I didn't tense up. I told you I was a deep sleeper. Yeah, you did. Did the doctor say that it's not medically advisable to fall asleep while you're driving? I was just trying to rest my eyes for a few seconds. But seriously, next time, try not to tense up. Really? One sec. Who's that? That's my actual friend. He's come to pick me up all the way from Dallas. Oh, good. Shotgun. Nope. Not us. Just me. We're done. And by the way, it's been a fucking pleasure. But just so my conscience is clear, let me let you know why you're not coming with us. Okay? It's not because you got me kicked off a plane and shot by an air marshal. It's not because you stood idly by as I had my ass handed to me by a handicapped hillbilly. And I am certainly not leaving you here because you almost got me killed during the most important week of my life. I am leaving you here for a far more fundamental reason. I despise who you are at a cellular level. Okay, I've heard that before, and I'm trying to work on it, okay? Great. Yes. Now hear this. Beware. I'm warning you. Don't go to Hollywood. The streets are not paved with gold. They are paved with the carcasses of fucking imbeciles like you who think they're going to go there and make it. Pray you avoid it. Did you get that? That was Shakespeare. Heard of him? Yes, I've heard of him. He's a famous pirate. And by the way, it's Shakespeare. Let me give you a little bit of friendly advice. Nobody who calls themselves Hollywood has ever made it in Hollywood. That one I've never heard before. Sonny, you will be sorely missed, you little bat-faced piece of shit. I have never well, I'll get in all it. of my 23 years for taking on Loki alone. He was doing his job. <laughs> he was out of his league. You should have waited. You should have... Sometimes there isn't a way out, Tony. Right. I've heard that before. Is this the first time you lost a soldier? We are not soldiers. I'm not marching to Fury's Fife. 
Neither am I. He's got the same blood on his hands that Loki does. But right now we gotta put that behind us and get this done. Now Loki needs a power source. If we can put together a list- You made it personal. That's not the point. That is the point. That's Loki's point. He hit us all right where we live. Why? To tear us apart. Yeah, divide and conquer is great, but he knows he has to take us out to win, right? That's what he wants. He wants to beat us, he wants to be seen doing it. He wants an audience. Right, I caught his act in Stuttgart. Yeah. That's just previews. This is this is opening night, and Loki, he's a full tilt diva. Right? He wants flowers, he wants parades, he wants a monument built to the skies with his name plastered. Son of a bitch. I'm going to bed. Come on. Come on. Pep. Hey, I admit it. My fault. Sorry. I'm a piping hot mess. It's been going on for a while. I haven't said anything. Nothing's been the same since New York. Oh, really? Well, I didn't notice that at all. You experience things. And then they're over and you still can't explain them? Gods, aliens, other dimensions? I'm, I'm just a man in a can. The only reason I haven't cracked up is probably because you moved in, which is great. I love you, I'm lucky. But honey, I can't sleep. You go to bed, I come down here, I do what I know. I tinker. Threat is imminent, and I have to protect the one thing that I can't live without. That's you. And my suits, they're, uh... Machines. They're part of me. A distraction. Maybe. Okay, all right. Enough! Eric, okay. Over here. Come here. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. It's okay. Not in this house! Shit! Oh, no. I'm so sick of you. I'm tired of the way you decide how the world is gonna run. What, are you gonna parcel out who gets to say and do what and when you say it? I decide in this house, you can go decide in your house. No, I can't! Because what? I'm stuck oh. in purgatory with a client who's doing everything in his power to be found guilty. You didn't make it anywhere near the mill. Okay, 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 okay. What? Did you? You hung me out the fucking dry with Dwight Dickham because you held out on me! I told you everything! No, I knew. wrong! You told me everything! I, I, you started it! Come on, guys! Come on! What? Get out of my way! Easy. Get out of my way! Cut it out! You guys! Stuck it! Where are you going? Get out of here! All right, all right! Guys, your kids go out there! Get your gimp hand off! Get your gimp hand off me! Get your gimp hand off me! Damn it, Hank! Where is he going? Boy Scouts. As punishment for blowing up the McCraw's mailbox with M80s. I was 13. That you remember. Oh. That. Old enough to know better. You didn't come to my high school graduation or college. Oh, boo fucking who? Why? Why? Jail time. Truancy. I was gonna reward anything. None of your shit. I graduated from law school, for Christ's sake. As opposed to what? Dropping out? Fuck Ooh. you. Let me tell you something, okay? Here. I put a roof over your head, money in your pocket, clothes on your back, Food in your mouth! Who paid for that college education? I never showed up to kiss your ass over. Your mother? She's a housewife. Why couldn't you swallow your goddamn pride and just come home to her? You tell me why! Dude, you'd invite people at the end of parole back to court. You'd recognize those who did their time, turned their lives around, made something of themselves. Everyone in court would applaud. You'd make sure they did. Tell how proud you were. Proud of fucking strangers. Is that all you wanted, Henry? It was a kind word and attaboy. Then to use your words, you should have come the fuck home. We all waited, quietly. But you never came, OK? And I was the one she blamed because you wouldn't come home, me. Now, was I tough on you? Yes. How'd you turn out, Henry? Waiting tables, a bum? 
You put me in juvenile detention. You sent no, me no, to no, fucking no, no, Vanderburg! No, 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 you put yourself there. Did I? Yes. The prosecutor recommended community service. No, that was your fault! No, no, it wouldn't have helped you. I didn't need help, I needed you! You were high, you rolled the car with your brother in it. He had a major league career ahead of him, a 90 mile an hour fastball, and he runs a tire shop. You crippled him, you stole his future, and you, you caught me an asshole! I was just 17, that's what happened. Oh, I was 17. I was 13, I was 17. You were headed down the wrong path. I did what I thought was right. You know, I didn't just graduate from law school. I graduated first in my class. Good. I was first in my class. I did really well, Dad. You're welcome. Fuck. Try not to bring it to life. Hi, oh, Miss Barton, your little mix. I get it, Maria Hill called you, right? Was she ever not working for you? Artificial intelligence. You never even hesitated. Look, it's been a really long day, like Eugene O'Neill long, so how's about we skip to the part where you're useful? Look me in the eye and tell me you're going to shut him down. You're not the director of me. I'm not the director of anybody. I'm just an old man who cares very much about you. And I'm the man who killed the Avengers. I saw it. I didn't tell the team. How could I? It's all all dead, Nick. I felt it. The whole world, too. It's because of me. I wasn't ready. I had to do all I could. The Maximoff girl, she's working you, Stark. Playing on your fear. I wasn't tricked. I was shown. It wasn't a nightmare. It was my legacy. At the end of the path I started us on. You come up with some pretty impressive inventions, Tony. War isn't one of them. Watch my friends die. You'd think that'd be as bad as it gets, right? But... <laughs> nope. Wasn't the worst part. The worst part is that you didn't. out there and I try to tell you about it, but you didn't listen. None of this would have happened if you had just listened to me. <laughs> if you even cared, you'd actually be here. I did listen, kid. Who do you think called the FBI, huh? Do you know that I was the only one who believed in you? Everyone else said I was crazy to recruit a 14-year-old kid. I'm 15. No, this is where you zip it, all right? The adult is talking. What if somebody had died tonight? Different story, right? Because that's on you. And if you died, I feel like that's on me. I don't need that on my conscience. Yes, sir. I'm yes. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it doesn't matter. I understand. I just, I just wanted to be like you. And I wanted you to be better. OK, it's not working out. I'm going to need the suit back. For how long? Forever. Yeah. Yeah, that's No, no, works. no. Please, please, please. Let's just, have don't, it. You don't understand. This, this is all I have. I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it, okay? Gotta sound like my dad. I don't have any other clothes. Okay, we'll sort that out. Couldn't stop him. Neither could I. We lost. 
this up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's okay. We've been hunting Thanos for three weeks now. Deep space scans and satellites, and we got nothing. Tony, you fought him. Who told you that? You fought him. No, he wiped my face with the planet while the Bleecker Street magician gave away the store. That's what happened. There's no fight because okay. he sent he said people. Did he give you any clues? Any coordinates? Anything? Uh, I saw this come a few years back. I had a vision. I didn't want to believe it. I thought I was dreaming. Tony, I'm going to need you to focus. And I needed you. As in past tense. That trumps what you need. It's too late, buddy. Sorry. You know what I need? I need a shave. And I believe I remember telling... Tell oh, me, yes. tell me, tell me, alive and otherwise, that what we needed was a suit of armor around the world. Remember that? Whether it impacted our precious freedoms or not, that's what we needed. Well, that didn't work out, did it? I said we'd lose. You said, oh, we'll do that together, too. And guess what, Cap? We lost. And you weren't there. But that's what we do, right? Our best work after the fact, Tell we're me. the Avengers. We're the Avengers, not the pre-Avengers. Okay. Right? You made your point. Just sit down, okay? okay? No, no, here's my point. You know what? Just sit, great, sit down. We need Love you. Sit. Your new blood. A bunch of tired old mules. I got nothing for you, Cap. I got no coordinates, no clues, no strategies, no options, zero, zip, nada. No trust. Liar. Here, take this. You find him, you put that on, you hide. 